So we built ourselves a tiny little penguin. I think it turned out fairly well. It's got a white chest. It's got the black wings. It's got a little feet on there. A uh, little beak. You know, a little tiny little beak there. I think it turned out fairly well. The cap is uh, also pretty good. And uh, pretty cool little build, I think. Um, make sure to uh, subscribe so you can see our videos each and every day when they come out. And you get hit that bell so you get notifications when they come out. And uh, let's go check out how I built this little mini Lego penguin. Let's go check it out. So we need to build a penguin. So let's put five minutes on the clock, like always. And let's get started. So we got to build a penguin. Um, let's pull out the black stuff. All right, I think we're gonna go with a really small penguin. I don't know, what do you think? Make sure my focus is all good here. Uh, I'm trying to make a small penguin. Something small. Actually, even smaller than this. I'm thinking real tiny, tiny. Like, maybe like that big. Something like that. Get the feet there. What color are penguins' feet? You never see the penguins' feet because the fur is always above it, right? Something like that. Well, it's hard to see on the camera, but uh, I think you're getting the overall idea. I'm. Trying to make it as small as possible, but I think you gotta add a little bit of white in here, right? I mean, or else this is gonna look weird. It's not gonna look like a penguin. So if we go wider with the white, maybe it's just a one, one strip right there. Okay, that works. And then, huh? How do I, how do I cover that up for its neck? Okay, so now I got these two here. And then Yeah, that kind of looks like a beak, huh? Do you see that? The black's actually coming up really strong. Uh, let me turn this up. Let me add a filter in here so that you guys can see the black just a little bit better. It's going to take the focus out just a little bit. Increase gamma. Is that better? I think you can see a little bit better now. Okay. So you can see that little beak. I like that. It looks like a penguin beak. So that works. Yeah, something like that. Oops, whole thing fell apart. Let's try that again. I don't like the, the feet so much, but that looks like a penguin to me. We're really close, we're three minutes out. I'm gonna actually change out the feet. I'm thinking penguin's feet are less black and more like a tan, yellowish tan color. There, we got ourselves a little penguin. A little penguin with like a baseball cap on it. Uh, something like that. I think that looks great. It's teeny tiny. We actually can zoom in a little. Let's zoom in just a little bit here and uh, get a better view of our little penguin. So we got ourselves a little penguin. Uh, again, I wanted to go small because I don't have that many black pieces. This is all I got left. So if there was a way to make it a little bit taller, like a second level to this, I think it would add a lot of value to this build. So if you're playing along at home, why don't you experiment with the height? 
and see if you can get it a little higher than what we have here. Other than that, I think it turned out fairly well. It's got the white chest, black arms or wings, or what do you call that in a penguin? I guess it's wings. It's technically a bird or a fowl, waterfowl that is. So I would call it a wing, I guess. Flippers? No, I think it's a wing. So we got some feet here. Again, I think they're really small feet on a penguin, and I've never seen the color of the penguin's feet. I bet they're dirty. Um, penguins are fairly dirty animals. They crowd around and uh, huddle together very well, but the problem is, is they all pee and poop next to each other as well. So uh, typically they're pretty dirty animals. Okay, there we go. So we got ourselves a little penguin. Five minutes are up. I think that turned out fairly well. If you want to play along, with us make sure to click on the link down below that takes you an affiliate link to amazon where you could buy this kit for around 15 dollars and uh you can play along with us each and every day let's go check out what we're going to build tomorrow let's go check it out so penguin that was fun so now i have one last winter themed item for us to make it is a polar bear well we don't really have a lot of white pieces so I'm just going to say bear, right? It's a winter animal, bear. You see it um, not during the winter because they hibernate most of the time, but you'll see it during the spring coming out of its hibernation. And more, um, can't think of another animal that kind of personifies as the winter spirit more than the bear, or especially the polar bear. So let's go ahead tomorrow and build a polar bear, or in this case, a bear. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make. I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.